I start talking and he goes, hold on, hold on. At his head, are you ready? Jeez, maybe he needs a time to lay on. Are you ready? And then hit the button, I don't know. So uh, we've assembled this, talked it down to the correct settings, did some reading up on this. Some people say you need to talk it down higher, but we've gone with the factory settings and we're about to install it over there, make sure we get our little tube on this time. We've made that mistake a couple of times as well so uh, got my fingers crossed that it's raining outside it's a little bit frustrating because I don't want to put Clyde's boat outside because he's on his way in the next couple of days to pick it up and there's nothing worse than when you get your boat and it's all wet so uh, hopefully we can get a break and we can get it outside maybe we'll cover it with some plastic I don't know but uh, we're gonna put this back on right now Michael and I are expert on this part and uh, so the one thing uh, that I would say about this is that make sure you lay out all your parts and get yourself a diagram and do take the time to double check to make sure that when you spin that on you don't rip this gasket here. The other thing is is that we did get a keyway here which is the wrong size. So, there you go. So anyway we're going to put this back together and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, so finally we have success with being out of the tube and uh, it's pretty cold here today so it took a little bit but we're very happy, extremely happy so uh, I'm sure Clyde's going to be happy we've got water pressure up on the thing and our, uh, ooh, that's warm That's pretty hot That's pretty hot Pretty happy about this, needless to say after last week, very discouraged, but uh, put the work in today and we got the results we needed. So we're pretty close now to this thing leaving. So good morning, we're coming down to the wire. And uh, today is Thursday. And Clyde's going to be here Sunday to pick up his boat. You can continue working. It's all right. I need to get some. Okay, you can get on. So, uh, view here is going through and doing a discount double check on everything. So, uh, he's gone through this morning and labeled the fuse boxes. Uh, we had a we're double check in everything. We had a problem with the USB outlet. Somebody connected the wires the wrong way around. Probably was me, but anyway. So uh, this is the reason why you go through a double check. With, this is day two of double checks of cleaning and uh, doing a double check on this boat. So uh, you, was it you? Probably you cleaned up the boat yesterday. Both Michael and me. Michael gets credit too. When are you leave it? Not soon enough. <laughs> so uh, anyway. Whoever did it, did a great job getting rid of all the mud dobbers. We're going to go through here in a little bit and double check all the fasteners again. We got in here, double checked everything to make sure everything's okay in here. We made a checklist, gone through the checklist to make sure all the lights are working again. Uh, so these are the things you do because quite probably lives about three or four hours away from here so we want to do our best to make sure that we don't have any problems we've still got to put the hot foot in but we need it here for that done a detailed job on the boat we vacuumed the carpets so many times i'm getting worried that we're going to wear the carpets out before he even gets to use them uh, but he's going through all this right now to make sure that we haven't missed anything tidy up, some tie wraps, those kind of things. Uh, 
it's just those things that you do when you've been as deep in this boat as we have and uh, tomorrow we'll do it and then probably Sunday morning we will go through it completely with Clyde before he uh, takes off with his boat uh, obviously you know if you've been following the series you know uh, all the work that's gone into this and, and uh, all the you know kind of Michael and you and everybody that's been involved in it, Valerie that poured their heart and souls into this project we appreciate Clyde letting us uh, video his boat in a very popular series uh, so anyway I hope it's inspired you guys into uh, you know putting time and effort into your own boat um, if you guys need anything like harnesses or Anything you need for your boat, if you'd reach out to, to Michael, he sure could use your business right now. So uh, if you could reach out to him at Mealy Marine, I'm sure it's somewhere on the YouTube how to contact him. But uh, please reach out to him because he could use your business. So anyway, thank you for your time. Clyde's boat is finally finished. This beautiful 1994 Ranger 361V is finally done. Clyde brought it around the uh, end of November. It's the middle of March, so we've had this boat for a long time. I'm gonna be sad to see it go, but it's time for it to go so we can move on to our next project. Uh, so I'm gonna just do a final walkthrough of all the work that we did. I'm probably gonna forget some stuff. If I do, be sure to check all the other footage that we have on this boat. I mean, we have tons of videos of us restoring this boat. So let's just start on the outside of the boat and then we'll hop in and we'll go over the stuff there. So pretty much on the outside of the boat, the only thing we did is we buffed it out. Uh, this gel coat's in amazing shape. Uh, it sat inside for a long, long time. So all we did is we did a, a detailed job and then we put a protective layer of film over it so that, uh, you know, the UVs won't get to it. And other than that, the outside of the boat, I mean, guys, it, it, there's there's probably not a 1994 boat that looks as good as this. Uh, we had our snap-on guy come in today and he's like, is that a new boat? That's how good this boat looks. So uh, let's go ahead, let's hop up inside because that's where 99% of the work was done. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay guys, so we're up here in the, the 361, Clyde's beautiful, beautiful boat. And uh, obviously the first thing that we did is we recarpeted this boat. Uh, we put brand new, nice uh, 20 ounce carpet in it. And then the biggest thing that we did other than wiring is we, uh, we installed this custom lid for Clyde here. It gives them a whole bunch of storage. So originally this was a whole open area, but we went ahead and the original panel was we were just going to put the extended casting deck, uh, just a flat piece of wood. But we thought, hey, it would be really cool if it opened up on a hinge with some actuators. And then it ended up becoming its own compartment. So uh, we know it's not watertight, but uh, that was never the intention. And uh, it does lock. There we go, boom. And I stole one of these off of the 363 restoration because we didn't use these. So it matches the whole rest of the boat. Uh, we installed these uh, rod buckles, the uh, tie downs, which are really nice. They retract in and out. And uh, we had to do some custom modifications for it to fit in this boat, but it came out looking really good. And uh, other than that, up here at the front, not much work. We did do a full rewire of this boat. Every inch of wire, other than the two trolling motor wires, are fully replaced. And uh, so all, all of that stuff up there has been rewired, the plug, everything. Um, and if you move on to here, the uh, starboard rod locker. This is something that we're really proud of that we made for him. This is a custom fuse box. Every, every accessory runs off of these fuse boxes. They're all labeled. And then you can't really see it, but if he was to ever to have to pull these wires, each wire is individually labeled. We kept his live well controls in this locker because that's where they were originally, and that's where he wanted to keep them, so we got that going there. It's really nice, really clean install. Moving on, on all of these three front compartments, because this is a, uh, this is a cooler, we installed LED lights for him, so low light conditions he'll be able to see his tackle his fishing rods and we mounted them in strategic locations i think a lot of people just throw led lights on when you're in the morning getting ready for a tournament you want to see your bait 
and usually you keep your baits down by your reels. So we installed the light right here where most of his reels are going to be and uh, he'll be easily be able to see his baits, get them in the morning. Um, moving on back here to the uh, cockpit area, a big, big concern for Clyde was his cups. He wanted his drink easily accessible at all times and you would think this would be the easiest part of this whole restoration. It wasn't. Um, we're supposed to have two, but due to unforeseen circumstances, we only have one, but it's mounted here. It's not screwed into the fiberglass. We, he originally wanted them into the bottom deck and uh, we, that, we weren't gonna stand for that. So that's here, it's mounted really securely. If you step on it, it is gonna break off. Um, let's talk about the seats because underneath the seats, these are original seats. Underneath it, we did a full tear down of his fuel system. Every fuel line, every fuel fitting, every gasket, fully replaced. That was his main reason for bringing the boat here was for a fuel problem. He, he could constantly smell fuel and we cleaned it out. You check it out, it's like third or fourth episode where we do a big deep dive into the fuel. So that came out really, really nice. Well, area guys, we replaced all his switches and um, they all work, everything works. And uh, we kept, this flasher still works. Uh, this surface temp still works. So that's still all wired. Uh, you're not gonna be able to see it, but I'll put some footage in of all the wiring up underneath the console. Like I said, we redid every bit of wiring in this boat. It is super clean up here. We have a, a face panel where you, all the wires are behind. So if he ever needs to service it, he just pulls that panel off and it looks for really clean. So if you're outside the boat, you can't see any wiring. Came out looking really, really good. Hopping back here to the back compartment. We didn't do much on the back deck, obviously carpeted the whole boat. Um, but this is a kind of one of my favorite compartments to do. Uh, we put, installed a Perco switch. It's a four position switch. You got off, uh, battery one, a jump, and battery two. So this is, you know, the main Perco power. Our jump comes across here and everything's labeled. This is just the uh, charging cable for the battery charger. We had to uh, run the vents. It's really important, guys, if you have these vents on the back of your boat, to make sure that there is a vent going down to the bottom of the bilge to get all the, uh, the stink and the air out and stuff like that. So that's that for the back of the boat. And, uh, I mean, that's pretty, it seems like we didn't do anything, but <laughs> like, it took us months to do it. We did a pretty much, uh, a, we did like 100 hour service on this motor. We changed all the fuel lines inside the motor. A lot of the uh, fuel smell was coming from here. We replaced all the line out here and um, water pumps. Uh, we didn't do spark plugs, but a lot of things in here. You can check out the videos. But guys, that's pretty much it for the 361 uh, restoration that we did. I hope you liked it. I'm hope glad. I really hope Clyde likes it. He's coming to pick it up in a couple days. So uh, today's a great day. Finally got to meet Clyde and show him his boat and. Uh, we're going to let him tell you a little bit about his boat and his, and his experience of working with us. Okay, so I've taken good care of this boat, but I wanted to take it to the next level. And I was thinking of bringing it to Ranger themselves and get them to do a refurbish on it. But they no longer do that. Well, I was fortunate enough to find Michael and Mealy Marine to do it for me. And they've done far past my expectations on it, done a great job. And I think they've done better than what a ranger shop could do for it. If you have a boat and you want to get it fixed like this, I suggest that you bring it over here. Because this is some fine work, some good craftsmanship, and they put their time in it. And that's why I brought it to them. Everything on this boat came out exactly what I expected, plus and some. So I'm very appreciative to Amelia Marine and glad to have had this experience with them. Thank you. Okay, so uh, hopefully you just got to see uh, Clyde's boat and Clyde's boat just left. I uh, got to meet Clyde, great guy, not only a great customer, but a great individual. Just really enjoyed the last couple of hours we got to spend with him and uh, him allowing us to work on his boat, uh, but truly a really good individual. So uh, 
it's kind of bittersweet today got a little bit of a tear in my eye uh, because we uh, you know poured our hearts and souls into that boat and uh, you know got to see it every morning just about every morning when I came through the door so uh, it's kind of bittersweet but we have to move on to the next project and that's what it's all about and the next project is uh, we got the boat over there I don't, I'm gonna get the number screwed up whatever that boat is so, uh, 521. 521. I'm going to call it the Black Beast. Ebony. Ebony Beast. Okay, whatever it is. <laughs> so, uh, we've got some exciting stuff coming up with that. Uh, it's a relatively new boat, uh, but we're going to be doing some exciting things on that, some exciting stuff moving forward. Obviously, still got my good old friend here. Please keep the word out that we're looking for a home for this because... Uh, we're going to have a few weeks on that boat over there, but we are looking for our next next project. But uh, I want to give a shout out to everybody that also worked on Clyde's boat. Valerie, Michael put a tremendous amount of time into it. Hugh put a tremendous amount of time into it. And a couple of other guys that were behind the scenes that uh, helped out. And uh, you guys know who you are. But uh, everybody that, that took the time to help make that uh, what it was today. So uh, we appreciate your time and please like, subscribe and share and please put the word out about my 363. Thank you.